So we haven't even got our own wand yet. This must be a borrowed wand or something. All right, cast, uh, com cast the compass charm. The charmed compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice. It's like the clairvoyant spell um, in Skyrim. Speaking of Skyrim, there's a loot. Or is that just a normal guitar? I don't know, but it sounds like a loot. Oh, it's so good just to be running around. Okay. Hogwarts is massive. <sighs> really massive. I wonder I wonder how much we're gonna be able to do. Possibly be as difficult as surprised if Professor Bins bought himself the death of one of his Lenora. Yeah, Lenora Everley. Or Everlee. Lenora. What's wrong? Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Hmm. She's right, an empty frame in Hogwarts. It's interesting for sure. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Hmm. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm, okay, Lumos. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. So this is the painting she's Do come on about. Find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Discover the painting secrets. All right. So she said Lumos affected it. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Mm, wow. So it's just a staircase. A normal stair. Oh, there's a statue in the background. A statue and a staircase. And it's nearby. Look slower down, there's a pillar in the background. Oh, there we go. There's these pillars. So it's either on this side or that side. Yeah, no statue on this side. It must be on the other side. It must look like a proper mad person running around with Lumos. Just throughout the <laughs> throughout the central hall. Ah, here it is. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Hmm. I wonder who this is. Revelio. Let's learn about it. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. This statue was an in. It, oh. This statue with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un uncutious oh god, uncutious unction, uncutious unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. Oh. I'm just picturing someone who was really lonely and like desperately wanted a best friend and they used that potion to do it. Which is wrong, by the way, but incredibly sad. Hmm, that was interesting, but not what we were looking for. I think this is. <laughs> I mean, it is staring us blank in the face. Right, so we definitely got it. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, wow. Return the moth to the painting. It really likes Lumos. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, do I just let go now? <laughs> I knew there 
was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, and it just disappears. Oh, but we're level two now. Awesome. Well, that was fun. That was interesting. I wonder how many of those there are. All right. Talk to Lenora. Let's do it. I'm just not mad that we're the one who solved it and not her. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. <laughs> you did? How? Uh, followed the clues. I'm not telling. Oh, no, we tell her. We tell her. She was interested in it. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. Oh, sorry. We have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! <laughs> Ooh, collection updated. Collections. Ooh, so this just tells us the amount of everything. Interesting. Okay. So here we are, Borelio pages. Wow, they've even got ones in Hogsmeade as well. When they were doing this field guide, they really didn't spare no expense, did they? And there's loads, wow. And here's the ones that we've collected. Statue of Gregory and the House of Recipe book. All right, and then we have this, so appearances. So these are appearances that we've collected. Cosmetic alterations applied to gear via the change appearance option in the gear menu. Appearances in this list are rewards for special accomplishments such as challenges and quests. Okay, what have we got? Cobalt regalia, a, a ensemble for those with poise and refinement earned by solving the mystery of the empty painting frame. All right. Ooh, and then here's the um, additional content that we have. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So if we go to gear, could we change that now? Hmm, I don't know. All right, well, I guess we'll find that out later. For now, let's head on to charms because we have uh, two lessons to get to, and we should really get a move on. All right, well, let's go. This gives us a good chance to see the castle as well on the way there. Oh, mini loading screen. Wow. Oh, look at the sky. Everything looks amazing. <sighs> Ooh, defense against the Dark Arts Tower unlocked. Ooh. So is this the woman who created flu powder? I think it is. It looks like... Oh, God. <sighs> that scared me. Looks like down this way is charms. There's a cat. Oh wow, that cat is interesting looking. All right. <gasps> Three-headed dog. Fluffy. Right. Well, this place looks cool. Hmm. There's something on the map there. There's like a chest icon. Does that mean it's something we can unlock? Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Who were they? I don't even know. Ooh, wow. So it's like Revelio shows a lot about what's nearby charms classroom there we go flu there we go the flu locations unlocked whoa it's impossible to do whoa look at all of this now this place looks magical 
Revelio. It's like he's planning something. What? And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the goblin rebellion of seventeen fifty-two. And by the end of it, the minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? <laughs> oh, God. Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. Oh, wow. He really is a poltergeist, isn't he? Oh, that was very cool to see, though. Peeves. Oh, I remember him from the games. So annoying. Revelio. Huh, it looks like we've got something locked as well. Hmm, we can't do anything with it yet. And then there's this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt that yet. <laughs> hmm, that looks difficult. Very, very difficult. All right, but let's head to charms. Oh, our first ever lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? This girl's nice. Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh. <laughs> mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. It's good for us. <laughs> now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, Akio, let's do this. Akio, that is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Oh, I love it when teachers do that. Take the class outside the classroom. Makes the lesson more enjoyable. Natty seems very cool, by the way. She seems really interesting. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, 
What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest student start us off? Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> why me? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. The summoning now, charm? Uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice <sighs> is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Okay, so this is a hold and release kind of thing. Got it. So let's just practice. That's it! Alright, okay, simple enough. Excellent control there. Bit longer than that. Splendid! Oh yes, that got into the blue section. Uh, is that it? Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. Oh. But there's mm. certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right, you want to go first? Peace up. She's good. There we go. Oh, should have gone a bit longer. I didn't want to risk it, though. Oh, we got into 20, though. Oh, she's got such good control. Oh, just released a bit too soon. Very good. Here we go. Oh, I didn't get it into the green on the last one. That is how it's done. Right, well, there's no way I'm going to win against her, so... There we go. My goal Quite is impressive. to just not let them fall off. <laughs> let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh no! <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Go on, hit the blue. Yes. Excellent control there. There we go. There we go. Right, this is going to be hard because it's right on the edge. Oh. Oh, that was close. A perfect score. Remarkable. Nicely done. 150. Quite proud of that. Very good, both of you. Well done.
Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. That was really fun. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Transferred? Hmm. I'm glad you understand I'm holding my own. Yeah, I don't want to be too proud because, you know, she was really good as well. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Wagadu? My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Oh. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Wow. Uganda. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really interesting to hear about the other schools around the world. That's so cool. What does it look like? It's Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts. Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Whoa. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Wow. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. That's good. Is magic the same there? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Really? Whoa. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Oh, we love a good wand. All right. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. Oh, she seems but really I'm glad nice. To be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Oh, oh she's of really course, adorable. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. Hmm. Using it on clothing. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. I love your accent. Your accent's beautiful. All right. Professor Ronan. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. It was really well, good. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expecting? Yeah. You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Hmm. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Ah, thank you. Ooh, first class student. Attend your first class. Very good. Okay. But that's it, first lesson done. All we got left is defense against the dark arts. Oh, I wonder what Professor Hecate's like. I, when I see her name, I always want to say Professor Hecat. <laughs> but it's Hecate, so. Ooh, complete main quests. So these are part of challenges as well, really? Oh, okay. Legendary gloves. 
Oh, wow, a legendary cape. We can wear capes. Oh, did we finish any of these as well? Well, we did. Collect two field guide pages. We got spectacles. Interesting. But all right, let's head to Defense Against the Dark Arts. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes, I am. And you are? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. It is. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thanks. That's kind of you to say wasn't too challenging a lesson. No, that's kind of you to say. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Hmm. I wonder if her and was it her brother her said a Ravenclaw both a Ravenclaw? Because that would make sense. Ravenclaws are really hard working. Natty was really nice to me. She was awesome. I have a feeling that she's she's a person who gets underestimated a lot, but she's hmm. I feel like she's got a lot up her sleeve that she's a bit too modest to actually say. She's gonna be cool to get to know. Oh, this room's interesting. Did you see Claire's hair today? She tried a colour changing charm on it. Okay. That's, um... I, personally, I wouldn't have that in Hogwarts. <laughs> I would find that a bit, a bit, a bit weird, a bit, a bit wrong. Not, not gonna lie, but... I guess it's part of their history, so... Fair enough. Whoa. What's that? Revelio. Oh. So we can't do anything with it. What is it though? Is it just me or the skulls a different colour to the rest of the bones? <laughs> that might just be the way the bones are though, like the head's the strongest bit. Wow, that's bright. That's cool. Oh the eyeballs. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Defense against the dark arts classroom. Have we unlocked quite a bit? Side quests are now available. Ooh, available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as a black flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP again. So the field guides are not the only way to earn XP. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, I guess hmm, I'm not going to go up my way just now to go help her. I'm going to go to Defense Against the Dark Arts. But if we come across her, then we'll definitely check that out. But all right, let's head to Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Nebuloso! Professor Hecket! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? This woman's amazing. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. That whole sequence was awesome. <laughs> this woman is amazing. 
This one seems a bit more complicated. All right, let's see if we can do it as quickly as we did Akio. There we go, Levioso. Levioso. Oh, the references in this game are on point. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> that one kid was leaning on it. The lessons so far have been so fun Let to do. Let us begin with a basic cast. Oh. Okay, perform a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. All right, Levioso, then basic cast. Break free yellow shields with control spells, like the levitation spell Levioso. Levioso, good. Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. You're the man I've heard a lot about. Basic cast and Protego. You may begin. Talk about an introduction. This should be easy. Let me open. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do enjoy a lively duel. Oh, oh, got me. How's the view? Oh, you're good. How perceptive. Thank you. Protego. Let me also take me. Bring up all of my students for this event. Use the basic cost when your opponent's guard is down. Oh. Huh, rather good at this, aren't you? Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> He's the man I've heard a lot about. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Ah. Thank you, Professor <laughs> Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again. Well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, she's awesome. I can't all wait for right. more of her lessons. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I can't wait for more of all of their lessons. Ronan, her, all the professors seem really interesting so far. All right, but that's it. Levioso. Cool. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. <laughs> I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, so would I. Okay, speak with Sebastian. All right, Sebastian. I think the world's gone nice a bit. Work. Well, let's just say you've had your impact <laughs> on the world. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Sebastian then Sallow. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Mm-hmm. I've had my share of one combat. It was. Never used my wand in combat. Well, we're not 
We don't have to mention goblins. We don't have to mention a vault. We just need to say that we've had our share of wand combat. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Okay, that was a bit confident. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Ooh, it sounds intriguing. It sounds suspicious. It sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, <laughs> you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. This man's is sneaky. Till next time. We're gonna have to keep an eye on you. You're very sneaky. Right. Level three. Awesome. Very cool.